So guys, in today's video, I honestly still can't believe it happened. There's no little quail. Something dug a giant hole right here. You can see that the little quail feathers are right here. They're literally all mangled. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are having an amazing Tuesday so far. So guys, in today's video, it was actually filmed about two days ago on Easter morning and I was so caught off guard. I honestly still can't believe it happened and I just started filming on the spot when I knew something was wrong. So I'm just not gonna spoil anything else. I'm gonna let you all hop into today's video so you can find out what happens. Guys, so it's really early in the morning. You can see I'm literally still in my pajamas right here. And I came out to feed the little baby quail in his new coop. And you're not going to believe it, guys. I'm going to flip the camera around and just show you guys what happened. So, guys, you can see right here that there's no little quail. Usually in the morning, this little baby is out here foraging through the grass and soaking up the South Florida sun. But you can see that the water bowl is tipped over. The food bowl is tipped over. And if you look right here something was trying to get in this cage this whole tray right here is like pulled out there's hay everywhere all over the floor and if you look right here guys something dug a giant hole right here you can see that the little quail feathers are right here they're literally all mangled and oh my gosh guys there are more quail feathers in the cage look right here guys so i'm gonna look around and see if there's more feathers guys there's another feather right here okay we might have a trail Let's see where this trail leads us, guys. Oh my god, there's more feathers. Okay, I'm finding more, I'm finding more. Look right here, guys. There's another one right here. Oh my goodness. Guys, I don't think this trail is going to lead us to the little baby quail, but... I'm going to check around the yard, and maybe this baby is hopefully alive. Maybe it's still in the yard, I don't know. But I'm going to see if we can find any more little quail feathers. So guys, as you can see, there are feathers literally surrounding the coop. So this baby might be in the surrounding area, so let's go on and check. So the first area I'm going to check is right over here. We have a giant tomato plant right here. So this baby might be back here. We're going to check all in here, deep in here. We're going to slowly pick it up. We don't want to injure the tomatoes. I don't see anything. This plant is not that big on this side. So I don't think this baby's in here. Now, if you look right here, we have another bush right here. But if you come down and look with me, it is not too thick. So there's a good chance that this baby might be in here, but we would be able to spot him quite quickly. So we're just going to come on and check around. We're going to walk on the floor just like this. We're going to check every inch of the bush under every single side and make sure that we cover this entire area. So I don't see any baby under here. We're gonna come on and check over here. We have a lot of area to cover. Guys, oh, I spot more feathers. So guys, I pulled the bush back right here and I see some more feathers right here. So this baby might be back here. Look, there are so many feathers back here. I'm gonna crawl in so it's not on this side. Guys, look, there's more feathers right here. Oh, guys, I found another feather right here. So you can see my hands are so, so dirty. We're just gonna keep on climbing on back in here. We're gonna look in this bush. I don't see anything right now, guys. So this baby might have been dragged all throughout here. So guys, we might have to look in another area to see if we can find any more feathers. Go ahead and check this whole area back here. Now my brother used to keep all of his lizards back here. He had cages all back here, but now it is completely bare. So you can see right here, this bush is really not a bush. It's pretty naked. So I don't see anything here. I'm looking for feathers, but I don't see anything. Come on, look over here. There's nothing back here. So he has his old cage right here that is literally rotten, falling apart. So I don't think there's anything under here, but I'm gonna, ow, ow. Guys, I'm gonna lift this on up. And oh my gosh, guys, there's a feather right there. Do you see that? <gasps> There is a quail feather right there, guys. So we're gonna start lifting this wood up. I don't know what we're gonna find back here. I don't think it's here, but let's look in the surrounding area if there's feathers. <gasps> guys, there's more feathers right here. <gasps> guys, oh my goodness. We found a little baby quail. Oh my gosh, guys. <gasps> The poor little baby. Guys, I'm in literal disbelief. I'm not gonna let you guys get too close, but this poor little baby is bleeding from his beak. And if you if you just take a little look right here, he is just completely, completely mangled. I'm just not gonna even open up. It just 
it makes me sick. I just, I feel terrible that this happened to this little baby, but this is the hard part of owning animals. So now I'm gonna take this guy inside. We're gonna wrap him up, give him a proper burial. Do you hear that, guys? I don't know if you can hear on camera because it's pretty windy, but there's a little chirp. Guys. There's a little baby bird right here. Oh my goodness, it seems it seems lifeless. Oh no, I think this guy is injured too. Oh no. Oh my goodness, this guy is literally like half alive. Let me look. Oh my goodness. Did you guys see that? This baby's been attacked too. Oh my goodness. Oh no, there's puncture holes everywhere. Oh no, it's crop. Guys, look. There's seeds coming out of its crop. Its crop is completely ripped open. This guy is lifeless. Guys, I don't know where this baby came from. I feel like it definitely came from this giant bush right here. We always have blue jays, cardinals, and bobo baby nests in here. And whatever killed the little baby quail definitely got a hold of this guy. And you can just see, I don't know how much longer this baby has. It is lifeless. So we're gonna run inside. I'm gonna grab these two guys. We're gonna run inside and see what we can do for him. Guys, I got a cardboard box and I got some extra hay from when I was putting the coop together for the little quail. So we're just going to pour it on in here just like this. And guys, if you look right here, we're just going to spread it all around as fast as we can. And we're just going to put this baby inside. I don't know how much longer this little baby has. He's definitely holding on to his last leg. But right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call our local wildlife rehabber. Because here in South Florida, it is illegal to take care of these and bring this into human care. So it needs to go to someone who has a license and knows what they're doing. So we're going to give a call and see what we can do for this poor little baby. Guys, I tried contacting several wildlife rehabbers here in South Florida. And unfortunately, none of them are answering, guys. Mind you, it is Easter Sunday, so most people are not on their phones or they're spending time with family. So now I'm going to take matters into my own hands. I'm going to whip up some formula. We have the supplies ready right here. We're going to feed this little baby some formula, see if it's going to perk him up, and see if he has a fighting chance of surviving. So guys, we got the formula right here for feeding this little baby bird. It is KT Exact Hand Feeding Formula. Now right here on the back, it tells you exactly how much to feed it. So we're gonna look right here and it tells you according to their age, how much food to give them and how much water to put in there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this on up right here and it comes with a little scooper just like this. And now since this bird is pretty tiny, we're only gonna scoop a little bit just like this into the container. Okay, perfect guys. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the water. Now, since this baby is still pretty young, we're gonna turn this down. We are gonna make the formula not too thick so this baby doesn't choke. So we're just gonna go on ahead, get some water in there. We're gonna pour a little bit in, stir it on up because you don't wanna add too much or too little. So let's just stir that up. We might need to add more, so we're just gonna make sure once we got it all mixed up, you can see the consistency just like this, guys. That is actually perfect. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put that right here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the water boiling so we can get this formula nice and hot for this baby. The water is done boiling, so we're just gonna put it on in here. Pour it in there. Guys, I think that's good. Now we're gonna take the spoon out just like this. I'm trying to go as fast as I can so we can get this baby some food in his crop. We're gonna open this up right here, close this, and stick it on in here. Now I use this method of putting the container in boiling hot water because it evenly gets the whole formula hot and it's just so much easier because if the formula gets cold as you're feeding the little baby, you can pop it back in the water and get it nice and warm. Guys, as you can see, I have everything ready. The formula is getting nice and warm in here. I got the syringe, I got the towel, but guys, I'm taking a second look at the baby and just come look for yourself. I'm not gonna try to feed this little baby because if you can see, this little guy is fighting for his life he is literally gasping for air so even if i try to feed him formula it may make him choke and it may cause more damage than good so we are just gonna stay with this little guy as he takes his final breaths so i decided to hold this little guy keep him warm in my hands as he takes his final breath comfort him and just be there when he passes guys so we're just gonna take this moment and spend some time with this little guy so guys, unfortunately, this baby has passed. So for the sake of you guys, I'm not gonna show him on camera. I'm just gonna place him in this box right here that we made him. 
just like that. I'm gonna place him carefully. I'm gonna close this box on up and we're gonna go find the perfect spot to bury him. Guys, we got the shovel and we have the little baby dove in the box right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start digging a hole for this little baby. So we're gonna start out. We're gonna just dig that giant thing up. We're gonna put it on right here. And we're gonna have to do this a couple more times to make this hole deep enough to bury this little baby. Guys, so we got the hole deep enough for this little baby. So I'm just gonna lean the shovel just like this. I'm gonna take this box. And what I'm gonna do is I grabbed a paper towel right here and I'm gonna wrap this baby in the paper towel. You guys don't have to see it. We're gonna wrap this little baby up just like this. Nice and carefully. And we're gonna lay him in his little burial spot. So guys, I want you to comment down below a little prayer for this guy that he makes it to birdie heaven. Now guys, we're gonna cover this little baby with the rest of the dirt and finish burying him properly. But that is going to end today's video, guys. If you all enjoyed today's video, give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below two prayers for these little babies who lost their life today. Now guys, if you wanna all stay tuned to me trying to catch the culprit who did this today, well, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel in the link down below.